Hey, I'm Mike DiNardo with Galleon Marine. I have another awesome listing from Galleon. This is a 2008 Kingfisher 3050. Now, if you are familiar with Kingfisher model codes, you might note that the 3050 might not sound too familiar. The reason being is they didn't make many of these. That is a Volvo Penta D4 300 horsepower supercharged diesel motor with a DPH drive on the back. Uh, this is a stern drive boat that will cruise at about 5 gallons an hour with 300 horsepower. That's compared to uh, a 3025 with 300 horsepower would cruise probably about 14 gallons an hour. Uh, that is beautiful right there. We've also got a T25 kicker. And there's a small motor that's either a 4 or a 6 that is for the tender that he has on the roof. And speaking of on the roof, he also has... A hydrostatic release life raft up there as well and the Lorentz radar so rear station full rear station controls kicker controls main engine controls Lorentz screen networked to the forward screens um, controls for the fusion sound system sorry about that and uh, speakers out the back both sides moving inside this is virtually an identical cabin to what you would see on a 2022 boat um, it's the same, you know, pull out fat guy friendly seats right here that uh, two full size adults on either side. We've got a nice dash. Um, again, all the uh, electronic controls for the diesel, your uh, your instrumentation for it, the Simrad autopilot, two Lorant screens, Fusion Electronics, uh, unit in VHF radio. Um, and then we've got the nice big V-berth. We've got some Scotty downriggers in there. There you go, so you get your sink. Uh, Wallace heater, or wall stove, this doubles as a heater. So when you have this element on and you close the lid, a little barrel fan kicks in, starts blowing hot air out from under the lid. Then you, of course, got your head. One nice feature that we found in this boat is we've got the stock rod holders on the roof. And then some extra ones. This is awesome. More rod holders, the better on one of these boats. Um, lots of keys, full spare keys, full sets, full documentation for everything. This guy's got all his manuals. He's kept everything over the years. Um, this is really nice, a remote control for the autopilot. So if you're back there fishing, just click, heading hold, away you go. The boat's not going to drift on you. Beautiful in the diesel. So we close the doghouse and we still have the 3050 dance floor. Still plenty of space to get around you can get to each corner of the boat um, you gotta land a big fish you are right there there is no outboards in your way you can be right on the swim grid here to land a big fish one other cool feature that he's done is when he bought this boat from us he actually had a wrap done um, it's not pristine but it's still in great shape and some beautiful artwork done on here And like most kingfishers from this era, uh, everybody seems to know about this by now, is they had a bit of a clear coat thing. So, you know, some of the clear coats pulling off on there. But overall, she is in great shape. Um, apparently, he just had a whole bunch of work done on the diesel and on the drive. Um, so there'll be more details on that as we go, but she is mechanically sound. She's ready for a new owner. She's ready for a new home and a new adventure. This thing can take you to Alaska and back. First come, first serve. She'll be listed by end of day tomorrow. Um, keep checking galleymarine.com for information, or you can call us directly. And uh, yeah, she's ready for a new home.